historic mission to the moon and the launch of India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. Chandrayaan-3's most staggering discovery yet came not during its descent or successful landing, but in the quiet, calculated days of lunar observation that followed. As the Pragyan rover trundled across the desolate and powdery regolith of the moon's south pole, it recorded something that stunned scientists back on Earth. The unmistakable presence of a previously unknown subterranean structure, one so massive, deep, and anomalous that it has triggered a complete re-evaluation of what lies beneath the lunar surface. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The structure, detected through ground-penetrating radar and analyzed via a sophisticated suite of sensors aboard both the rover and the Vikram lander, extends miles beneath the surface and displays geometric regularities never before associated with natural lunar formations. This discovery has presented a jarring contradiction to long-held beliefs about the moon's geological history. Far from being a dormant, lifeless rock shaped solely by billions of years of impacts and volcanic activity, the moon may house something vastly more complex beneath its surface. It started as a faint signal anomaly, a radar reflection that lingered too long, suggesting that something denser and more structured than the surrounding rock was buried far underground. At first, it was assumed to be a dense lava tube or collapsed volcanic vent, but as the rover collected more data, it became increasingly clear that the signature was inconsistent with anything known to exist in the moon's southern region. The return data displayed repetitive layering at unnatural intervals, almost grid-like in its precision. The formation extended laterally over several kilometers and possessed angular intersections far too ordered to be formed solely by natural geological processes. The radar echoes told an eerie story. This wasn't just a buried anomaly. It was a massive, monolithic object, perhaps even a network of structures concealed beneath the surface for untold millennia. Its depth suggested it hadn't been exposed for millions, perhaps even billions of years, and yet it had retained its integrity with minimal erosion or collapse. The implications of that are almost too staggering to process. Either the moon harbors some unknown natural process capable of creating such formations, or something far more unprecedented has occurred in its distant past. The first question to arise was a simple but unsettling one. What exactly is this structure made of? Preliminary spectroscopic data hinted at high concentrations of titanium, thorium, and rare earth elements, materials not uncommon on the moon, but found here in concentrations and configurations never seen before. The data showed evidence of metallic layering and internal heat signatures. That indicated not only the structure's vast age, but the possible presence of retained thermal energy or residual magnetism, which contradicts the understanding that the moon has long been geologically dead. As more data flowed in, scientists faced the increasingly likely possibility that this wasn't a singular phenomenon. The presence of similar though smaller and fainter radar echoes in surrounding regions hinted at the potential for an extensive network perhaps a buried grid or lattice of ancient tunnels or chambers running under the southern polar surface. The sheer scale of this possible underground network dwarfs any known terrestrial equivalents and defies traditional models of lunar formation. The South Pole, long considered geologically stable, may instead be the entrance to a far deeper and less understood realm. This realization has massive implications for humanity's understanding of the moon. The very idea that it might conceal massive buried complexes of unknown origin challenges the long-standing notion of the moon as a static, lifeless satellite. Instead, it suggests that our closest celestial neighbor may have played host to geological, or possibly even artificial, processes that Earth has never known. Even more disconcerting is the possibility that such structures could have been created by intelligent design, though no evidence currently supports that conclusion definitively. Still, the symmetry, depth, and arrangement of the radar reflections hint at a level of organization that natural processes would struggle to produce. The question of age is equally fascinating. If these formations predate the moon's last volcanic activity, they could be over 3 billion years old. That would make them some of the most ancient preserved formations in the solar system. The idea that such structures have lain hidden beneath the regolith while humanity gazed up at the moon for millennia, adds a humbling scale to the discovery. It suggests the moon has been harboring secrets from a time when Earth was still a chaotic primordial sea. 
From an engineering perspective, the implications are just as profound. These structures appear to be built to last, buried deep enough to avoid the bombardment of meteors and preserved in an environment lacking atmosphere and water erosion. That would make the moon an ideal location for long-term preservation of complex constructs. Whether natural or otherwise, the existence of such formations could revolutionize the approach to off-Earth construction and habitation. Engineers are already speculating whether future lunar bases could be built atop or even within these structures, potentially saving decades of excavation work and providing natural radiation shielding. This possibility becomes even more critical when considering the Moon's potential as a springboard for deeper space exploration. If such vast and resilient underground systems exist, they could provide the framework for the first permanent human settlements beyond Earth. Environments protected from the sun's radiation, temperature extremes, and micrometeorite impacts would offer a vastly safer starting point for establishing extraterrestrial life support systems. The discovery might not just inform scientific theory, it could directly shape the future of humanity's expansion into space. Then there is the question of how such a discovery remained hidden until now. Despite decades of lunar exploration, from Apollo landings to lunar orbiters, no previous mission had the precise combination of equipment and positioning to make this detection. The South Pole, despite its strategic interest for water ice and long-term exploration goals, remained largely untouched in terms of subsurface analysis. Chandrayaan-3, by virtue of its lander's advanced instrumentation and the methodical approach of the Pragyan rover, was the first mission to look deeply and specifically in the right place with the right tools. This also underscores the importance of international cooperation and innovation in space science. Chandrayaan-3's discovery may serve as a catalyst for collaborative exploration, urging other spacefaring nations to prioritize lunar polar regions and invest in next-generation radar, drilling, and spectrographic technologies. It may lead to a flurry of new missions, all aimed at peeling back the layers of the moon and finally deciphering what truly lies beneath its silent surface. There's also an emotional dimension to this discovery that cannot be overlooked. For centuries, humanity has gazed up at the moon and woven stories, dreams, and myths around it. Now, Faced with evidence that something wholly unknown exists deep within it, we are forced to reimagine not only the moon's story, but also our own. The moon has always been a symbol of stability, of cycles, of the unattainable. But now it becomes something else entirely. A puzzle, a riddle left by time, possibly by nature, possibly not. The discovery also ignites a deeper philosophical question. If something so significant could remain hidden on the moon, Earth's constant companion, what else might lie undiscovered in our solar system? What secrets are tucked beneath the clouds of Venus, under the icy crusts of Europa and Enceladus, or in the rust-colored dust of Mars? Chandrayaan 3's finding isn't just a revelation about the moon. It's a prompt to look again, more carefully and more humbly, at all the worlds that surround us. There is also a growing unease in the scientific community. The data suggests activity, not necessarily current or biological, but energetic. Heat traces, magnetic anomalies, and radiation pockets are being detected near the subsurface formation. These could all be the relics of ancient volcanic vents or long-extinct geologic phenomena. But the patterns don't match standard lunar geology, and that inconsistency has sparked a quiet concern. Could the moon have been active far more recently than anyone suspected? Or could something else, something more persistent, be influencing its subsurface environment. The team analyzing the Chandrayaan-3 data continues to release findings carefully, aware of the potential implications. But internally, conversations are already shifting. What if the moon has been mischaracterized all along? What if its apparent silence is simply a mask over ancient complexity? What if its purpose, geologically or otherwise, is more than that of a mere satellite? Speculation runs rampant, but so does wonder. The idea that the moon may hold relics of processes or civilizations unknown to modern science challenges not only astronomy but history, archaeology, and even philosophy. Are we, for the first time, standing on the brink of uncovering an interplanetary mystery of origin and identity? Or is this yet another chapter in nature's long history of crafting formations so strange they resemble the artifacts of thought? Whatever the final answer, the discovery has already achieved one undeniable result. It has reminded the world that the moon is not finished surprising us. As the Pragyan rover moves steadily across the silent dust, 
Its tire impressions may well be tracing a path over a hidden history so ancient and so foreign that it redefines what it means to explore. Every centimeter it moves, every radar ping it sends into the ground, and every bite of data it beams home contributes to peeling back a veil millions of years old. For now, the structure remains where it has always been. Buried, silent, unknowable, but that won't last forever. Chandrayaan-3 has opened the door. What lies behind it is vast, shadowed, and humbling. And as the world turns its eyes once more to the moon, there is a new understanding burning in the minds of scientists, explorers, and dreamers alike. The moon may be much more than a mirror in the sky. It may be a vault, a record, even a monument, and it has just begun to speak. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Chandrayaan 3's shocking moon discovery changing space exploration forever? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.